Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. So today is going to be my Play by Sephora July unboxing, but before we get into that, I'm going to review the products I got last month in June's box. June's box was an awesome box. I really, really enjoyed it. First thing that we got was the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I love this. It kind of reminds me of the Hourglass, I can't remember what it's called, but the Hourglass, um... Hourglass Primer. I can't remember what it's called, but this one is just a little bit more glowy, which I really like. It just left a really, really beautiful finish on the skin, and it was a great base for my foundation, so I definitely like this. Possibly will buy the full size. Not too sure, because it is a pretty pricey product, but I did really enjoy this, and I was happy to get the sample size. Next thing we got was a Benefit Their Real Mascara Sample. Um, I liked this, but I don't know. High-end mascara for me is just something that I would never spend $22 on to have a tube of mascara. I'm just too addicted to drugstore mascaras. Um, so, I mean, I liked this. I liked what it did for my lashes, but it's something that I definitely will not buy the full size of. Next thing we got was the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Sheer Sun Serum Bronzer. So this was a liquid bronzer, and you, like, shake it up. If you guys can hear that. Um, and it has a little like dropper dealer and I tried applying this a few ways. The first time I tried dotting it um, on my hand and taking a stipple brush and then kind of like stippling it on and that didn't work. It just really broke up my foundation. So next I tried putting on the back of my hand and then dotting it on my skin and then blending it out with Beauty Blender and I just feel like that took away too much of the product and there was just kind of nothing left. So. I wasn't a big fan of this product, um, even if one of those ways did work, I probably still wouldn't be a fan of this product, just because it's a lot of work. I feel like I would rather just use a um, powder bronzer, I just feel like it's a lot easier. So I was not blown away by this by any means, and it's not something that I'm definitely going to run out and go buy the full size of. Next thing we got was the Bumble and Bumble Don't Blow It Hair Styler, and this is for great hair days without heat or hassle. I really like the idea of this product. Um, using a blow dryer is something that I very rarely do. I like to shower at night and let my hair air dry. So I was really excited to try this product and I did really like it. This is something that I might go out and buy the full size of. Um, it was just nice to kind of put in my hair and help with the natural wave and it did help with my frizziness. So I did really enjoy this and I'm possibly tempted to go out and buy the full size. We'll see. And last but not least, we got the Tarte Tarte Guard 30 Sunscreen Lotion. I love the packaging of this first off. It is so cute and summery. This was nice. It was a really nice sunscreen. It smelled really good. It didn't smell like sunscreen. Um, I used it a couple times and there's still quite a lot in here, but even the first time I went to use this, the, um, oh, of course now it's going to work. Um, it's just really hard to use the pumper. I felt like a lot of times I would pump, 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 and nothing would come out. So I actually had to like unscrew it and like dump it out. So that was a little bit annoying. Of course, it worked in the video. Um, that figures. But anyways, I did really like this product. It's not something I'll buy full size just because it's a sunscreen and I can buy that from the drugstore. But I did like getting the sample. Okay, so now diving into the fun and exciting part. This is July's box. So we are going to dive right in. So, of course, they have a little pamphlet and a little card here that you can get Sephora Play Points for. And inside they have a list of all the products, but I'm not going to look at that quite yet. It looks like the theme this month is effortless. And the bag this month is really, really cute. It has a little popsicle on it and little lip prints, and it says hashtag Sephora Play at the bottom. This bag feels pretty heavy this month, which is always a good sign. So, first thing I'm pulling out is this First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser. Um, first Aid Beauty makes my holy, holy grail nighttime lotion. It's the um, Ultra Repair Cream, and I've never... Have I tried this? I don't think I've tried their face cleanser before, so I'm really excited to try this. Um, I really like First Aid Beauty. I haven't tried anything from this brand that I don't really enjoy, so... Um, really excited to try this. Next thing I'm pulling out is a sample of the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And I have tried this quite a few times. I've gotten a sample in quite a few subscription boxes, and I do really, really like this. It's a great pore filler. If you struggle with large pores, I would definitely recommend this. It's just clear 
It kind of reminds me of the Maybelline Baby Skin. If you were at all familiar with that, um, it's really smooth on the skin. It just does a great job of filling in all your pores. So I'm excited to have another sample of this. Next thing I'm pulling out is the Benefit Do the Hula, and um, this didn't come out too long ago, so that's pretty exciting that we got it in our box. Um, we got a liquid bronzer last month, the Better Minerals one, so we all know kind of how I feel about liquid bronzers but I will definitely give this one a try there it is blended out on my skin oh it smells really good this is actually really dark um, I don't know we'll see I'll definitely try it yeah so I will give it a whirl it'll be interesting to see how it compares to the bare minerals bare skin um, but yeah I'll try it out next thing I'm pulling out is this I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that brand name because I'm gonna murder it um, I've never heard of this brand before, but it is their Wave Spray, and that's exciting. I always like trying, um, like, Wave Sprays. I have naturally pretty, like, wavy hair, I guess, so I'm always looking for something that's going to enhance that natural wave, something that um, I can just spray in my hair and go and don't have to worry about straightening it or curling it or anything like that. So I'm really excited to try this, and this is a very, very generous sample size. So um, yeah, super excited to try this. And the next thing we got is the Blotterazzi. That's really, really cool. So it's just a little beauty sponge like that. If you guys haven't heard of it, it's supposed to be, it's from the makers of the Beauty Blender, but it's supposed to be for blotting oil and stuff instead of papers. It's a reusable sponge. Um, I do not have oily skin, so I'm not sure that I will be able to get much use out of this, but it is definitely a cool product that they included in the bag. And last but not least, the um, perfume sample this month is from Nest, and let's see how this smells. Mm, I actually really like this. It's really, really florally, but it smells really nice. I'll have all the notes linked below, but... Um, yeah, it smells really nice. It's a great, like, spring and summer type of scent. Okay, so that was everything I got in my Sephora Play this month. Super exciting box. Um, really excited about the face cleanser, the wave spray, and the foundation primer. Not as excited about the liquid bronzer and the Blotterazzi. Blotterazzi just because, for me personally, my skin type, I won't get much use out of this. And I'm just not a fan of liquid bronzers and things like that. And the perfume sample smells really nice. So, um, yeah, really excited to try all these products. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video today. Please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss me reviewing all these products when I unbox my August box. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.